I work in the bank. Okay. What, did, what do you do in the bank exactly? Uh, I work in the corporate finance. Okay. And about how much money do you make per year in corporate finance? About $200,000. And how many years experience do you have? About five. What type of education did you go to? What uh, did you do? I did my MBA in finance. Where at? Uh, University of Rochester. Okay. And what made you want to pursue a career in finance or banking? Uh, well, I did my bachelor's in economics and, you know, finance was the best place to make money. Okay. Now, do you enjoy what you do? Yeah, I love it. Okay, and then last question, what's your best advice you want to give to someone that wants to do what you do? Well, I think uh, to start, you have to network with people in finance and see if it's a good fit because the work-life balance can be a little, you know, bad at times. Uh, so if you are really interested in finance, uh, network with people, meet with them, and, and see if they, you like their lifestyle. Okay, now, you said the work-life balance is tricky. Uh, how much do you work? Well, I mean, it depends. Uh, sometimes you end up in the office to like 8 or 9 in the night uh, or 10, you know. So if you are okay with that, then it's good. Otherwise, you know, finance in New York is not for you. Okay. I'm a porter, handyman. Oh, a handyman? Porter, yeah. And how much money do you make per year as a handyman? A year? Yeah. Uh, close to 60000 And how many years experience do you have? 15. What made you want to become a handyman? Uh, I didn't. I had no other option. And why is that? I was in the military and I was diagnosed with PTSD, so I couldn't be a, I couldn't be a law enforcement because of the weapon. Mm -hmm. I had to give up all my weapons that I had at home, legit. Mm -hmm. So it came down to uh, my uncle gave me this job when he retired, and uh, best thing that happened. Okay. Thank you for your service. And the last question: What's your best advice you want to give to someone right now? Best advice is to stay out of trouble, make good judgment, have respect, and put yourself first, so that way other people could look for, uh, look and learn from you. Hello? Uh, I'm a recruiter. Okay, and about how much money do you make per as a recruiter? Like 65, yeah, 6, 70 on a good year. Okay, and yeah. how many years experience do you have? Uh, like a year and a half. Now, did you go to college for this? And if so, where did you go? Uh, I went to Manhattan College, uh, got a business degree, uh, but yeah, majored in marketing. So. Now, what's it like being a recruiter? Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, it's always nice to help people. Uh, you know, get the job that they desire. Uh, so it's pretty rewarding in that matter. Now, as a recruiter, what's the three biggest mistakes you see people make when applying to jobs? Um, basically, when people don't um, tailor their resume to the job, some people like to, you know, spam the resume out to, you know, everything on the internet, and sometimes that's not always the most effective method. Mm -hmm. um, outside of that. I, I want to put too much stock in like cover letters. Some people put a picture on their resume of themselves. That usually doesn't go very far. So, uh, yeah, that's probably my advice there. So tailor your resume and have a cover letter always. No, don't have a cover letter, but don't put a picture on your resume. Okay. A lot of people put their picture of themselves on the resume. Sometimes that comes off unprofessional. I don't know why, but it does. And then one more question. How important is having an up-to-date LinkedIn as well? Oh, super important. So definitely update your uh, LinkedIn with like your current position, how long you've been there, get endorsements. Uh, goes a long way, especially this day and age.